Hi everyone, Yen here. Welcome back to my channel. First, I want to apologize that I have not. Now I'm not showing you how I did the base coat or the the background color for this landscape swipe. Basically, you just put down the black color, uh, tilt it so that it's covering the canvas, and then you put on the middle part, which is in this case is gold, and then the the top part. I use some different darker colors to resemble the the uh, dark sky. And then you just start swiping with some of the, the colors that you have. Um, I, yeah, first of all, um, thank you for joining, which I already said. But as you will know, we um, had a collaboration. We decided some of the people that had been at the FAB, the Fluid Art Boutique, decided that we wanted to do a collaboration where we also included the teachers that were there. So that would be Mina, Karen. Um, Sarah and Kathleen, my darling Kathleen. Um, so we uh, agreed with them that we wanted to do a collaboration and you will most likely already know this because I am second to last on the second Sunday. So you will most likely already have seen the seven artists from last week and the five before me today. But in case you haven't, I, there's a playlist in the description field below that will show you all the artists that are lined up were lined up last Sunday and this Sunday. If you haven't already watched them, please do go in and check them out. Um, back to the fab, it was absolutely amazing. It was incredible. I met so many nice people, um, really got to hang out with a great crowd. Um, Definitely would want to do it again, and I do recommend that if you have the chance to do it, join next time there is an NFAB. It was well worth it. Well worth the plus 5,000 miles that I traveled for it. <laughs> um, I will now be speeding up the video because it's more of the same, just going back and forth with different colors. Um, back to the fab. Uh, yes, it was wonderful. I was very fortunate to meet some really good people, great friends. I was even so fortunate that, that I actually made it to Kathleen's place after to make paintings together with her. Uh, and there will be a little picture of it here in the video. That was really amazing. Thank you, Kathleen, so much for checking me in. And uh, speaking of that... Uh, after having talked to Kathleen, discussing about the fluid art experience, I will actually also be going to Texas to uh, learn some more, help Kathleen out, just meet up with some of the amazing people that were at the FAB, but also new ones, I am sure. Um, it's going to be exciting. So I will be going to Texas in July as well. Um, I know that Taniva, who is coming up after me in this um, collaboration, the last one in the lineup, she will just told me yesterday that she will also be going, so I cannot wait. That is going to be great. Nate, that was on before me, will also be there, I know for a fact. So that's all going to be really exciting to meet up again. But let me talk more about the painting here. I don't know if you noticed that I added a little black at some point, uh, at the bottom part of this canvas or the bottom part, the part that is closest to you on the screen. And that was in order to, there was a dip in the, the black that I didn't like. So I decided to just, uh, you just add a little more and then tilt the canvas a little, and then uh, you can actually control it like that. It, it's, it's very, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's just easy to, to manipulate really. And here I'm adding some violet or purple into the sky, which uh, makes it look a little more um, sinister, I guess, or a little more storm is coming like vibe. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can really play with it. Just add the colors that you want. And if you don't like them, you can actually go over them a few times with the uh, Background color, if for instance is in the gold part, you just use the gold to kind of erase what you did. So it, it's, it is a really, really um, a fun way to work with the paint. And you can really 
control a lot what you actually put down. Um, right now I'm putting the 24 karat gold as the sun. This was supposed to be the sun. Now this was much thicker than the rest of the paint. And that actually means that I should not have put as much on as I did. It really took over. It got very aggressive. It actually, in the end, made me try to erase it because it just kept growing. As you see right now, I'm just trying to pull in some, some uh, light, some white, uh, which is supposed to resemble clouds around the sky, and it's going to make it look brighter in the middle with that little white dot that I put there. It does not really work for me. Um, I'll have to work with this a little more, but it taught me a lot about the 24K, because you can really use it to control what is happening, and uh, because it is so aggressive when you make it thicker, um, you can just um, really use it for a special effect, which you will see at the end, when you see the end result. And now I'm just working more with with the background. I'm adding the, the, the um, Atessa Bordeaux Red, wonderful color, which I have never used before, but definitely will be using again. Thank you, Kathleen. Kathleen gave me a tube of Atessa Bordeaux Red. I'm really grateful. Thanks a lot. Um, as you can all have probably also noticed, I also dip my uh, the, the wet paper towels in the drippings just to <clears throat> add a little gold to to um, to the mix. Um, it's when I mix it, dip it in the gold, of course. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. I have to clear my throat. Now, where was I? Sorry about that. I know that for you it'll just be a split second, but for me it was a little more. Um, <clears throat> just had to go get a drink. Um, as you see right now, I'm trying to erase that dip that the 24 karat gold made. Um, it ended up not working. It was too aggressive. So, But I'm really trying here to just remove it because I want that more straight line. I don't want that dip, but um, yeah, you'll see in a bit that it didn't quite work out for me. While we're at it, I, I want to thank you again for joining me here. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're not already already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it. If you would subscribe, it would really mean a lot to me. It makes me, it helps me grow my channel. And um, I'm already, I'm finally over a thousand, but I would really like to grow it more. Also, please do leave a comment. Um, if you have any comments, and last but not least, leave me a like. Um, I really appreciate it. Here I'm trying to uh, draw some, <clears throat> excuse me, grasses on the on the bottom part, at the, on, the, on the land part of this painting. Um, it's a lot of fun. Kathleen does an awesome job with, with this. Um, I have a lot to learn. <laughs> But yeah, you basically just dip your, your little stick in, in the, the black paint and then you just pull, draw little little uh, lines of grass or what I've seen Kathleen also do trees and stuff. I do not have the courage to try that yet. It looks great on her paintings. It's not that easy when you do it, to be honest with you. I was surprised how much I actually messed it up. I end up removing these, not because I didn't like them, but again, because of what I keep talking about, that 24 karat gold taken over that big part of the painting. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's it's kind of like a big puddle right now. And it just keeps dipping deeper and deeper into the black. So really trying to find a way to get rid of it. Um, you will see, unfortunately, I don't, I'm not showing you when I pour on the black, but I actually am pouring on black, extra black, to then try to, uh, by tilting the canvas, trying to pull off all the 24K. It did not quite um, happen. I managed to get most of it off, but as you will see, in the end, I didn't manage to get all of it off. Now that did teach me a very good lesson 
uh, again, like I talked about earlier, that you're able to actually control what you're um, doing with the, with the 24K. You can actually let it, allow it to take over where you want it to take over. And um, I really got some, some amazing results with it. Um, this purple that I'm putting on here, um, it was a great idea. Um, oh, yeah, no, let's get back to this. Here I'm tilting off the black uh, that I added to it in order to try to just pull off all the 24K. Um, it almost happened. Um, I almost managed to get all of it off. But as you will see in a short bit, when I do another swipe, there's actually a, a reaction at the top corner of the can sorry at the top edge of the canvas. I think it may be on this swipe that I first see the reaction. As you see, I got I went up a little bit up at the edge, uh, upper edge, and um, I really like the reaction, so I tried to do it even more or do a cover a bigger part. And just contemplating right now, what can I do with this because I like the way that. Yeah, it reacted. Trying again to just do another swipe, and it still reacts the same way. That made me decide, okay, maybe we can benefit from this by actually adding the 24K um, as a thin line, as I'm doing now. I don't know if you can see it, but it is really a lot thicker than the other paints that I use. And uh, then I added a little white for interest, and I'm lucky, uh, lucky enough, I left the red line um, on here, and that will actually play a part, play a part in, in the end result because it kind of makes it look like a mountain range or a big rock in the middle of nowhere. I don't know, the red rock in Australia, I think it's called. Um, and you can already see now, I think, how it actually widened. It just kept growing, get wider and wider. Um, and I will show you a very sped up version um, of the last part where it just I just let it spread. As you will see right now, I think. Is that now? No, it's not. I'm just doing some of these purple ones. They unfortunately didn't work out as well because they dried kind of invisible. So on the painting there, it's it's more like a matte part of the black. But it still looked cool, but I would have liked it to, to stay a little more purple. Check up at the bottom uh, top left corner how there's a gold sun create, uh, generating right now. I had not seen that coming. You will see it in, in the wet results that it's there, and then when you get the, the dry result, you will see that, that turned into something totally different. Um, this is uh, at the end of my video. Please remember to go watch Taniva now. Um, and if you haven't already, go back and watch all the, the paintings from last weekend and this weekend. Here comes the dried results. I hope that you enjoy this. It looks to me like a mountain. I think it's really awesome. You all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.